Good morning, guys. Today is feeling like a very good day. Um, kind of have like a slight little headache, but I've had like three headaches so far in which I've tried not taking anything, which I've never done that before because I had a migraine once and I've never forgotten about it because it was like traumatizing because it hurts so bad. Micah was... Micah was like 10 years old and it was, it had actually started like out of nowhere, just this pounding headache. And then I went to bed and it just didn't stop. And then it woke me up out of my sleep because it was so bad. Like I felt like my entire head was going to just combust. It was terrible. It was so terrible <clears throat> that I felt like I was just in trouble. Like I knew I needed to get to a hospital right away and I, but I also was just like, oh my God, like, can I drive to the hospital? And, you know, I didn't, I thought maybe this is too dramatic for an ambulance. Why am I starting off this flow like this? Like, where's the story time coming from? But I got Micah in the car. I woke up out of her sleep, got her into the car and I driving to the hospital and it was not close and um they ended up giving me shots in my thighs i think is what i remember i don't know like if that's what they do but that's one in each thigh i think or was it in my back i don't i don't remember like that's weird because i used to remember this i might have even have like told the story before um i feel like it was in my legs but I don't know, comment if that's something that like, if you deal with migraines, that seems normal, but um, it went away like almost instantly at that point. And then um, whatever it was that they gave me. And the worst part, and this was something that I just hated when just being such a young single mom <clears throat> by myself, taking care of her, I hated that, you know, you work for these companies that just kind of like, you can call in, but you almost feel like they don't believe you kind of thing, you know? And it's almost like wherever you are on the corporate ladder, like the lower you are, the, I don't know, maybe that was just my personal experience. But, but anyways, I remember like basically going into work that day when I probably shouldn't have and especially like not sending Micah to school but it was one of those things where it was like I couldn't lose my job. <clears throat> Anyways, my point being that <clears throat> ever since then, whenever I would get the start of a headache, I'm like, nope, I'm not going there. And so I would take ibuprofen. And I'd notice too, like sometimes like if I wouldn't take ibuprofen right away, my headache like just skyrocketed into more pain. So, um, <clears throat> so anyways, the last three times I've been like trying not to take that. So I've been trying to do like these natural remedies. And so I kind of feel like I have a little soreness. I wouldn't say a headache, but just kind of like, I'm feeling like the headache. I know that the headache was there, I guess. So, that's a really weird way to start off a vlog. Here we are. It's early. I normally never this put together at nine o'clock in the morning. I'm usually getting ready at this point, but that's because my sleep is all out of whack and I want to try to get up at like 6 a.m. I basically like my clock, my internal clock, I wake up at like 7.20 to 7.40 a.m. No matter when I go to sleep. I want to try getting up at 6 a.m. But... I'm up, ready, got my jewelry on, got my makeup on, and I've got a lot of work that I need to do today. Um, I have a meeting actually with YouTube, so that's interesting for me. And um, yeah, it's just like this: these things that they offer creators and like managers that will like talk to you about the success of your channel, blah, blah, blah. So it's like that kind of thing. Um, and then I do want to read my book. I'm reading this book, which by now, um, because my vlogs are behind, but my my book reviews are not behind, if that makes sense. But, <clears throat> so 
So by now this review is probably up. So I'm rereading it because when I want to, when I talk about it, I want to be able to um, talk about key paragraphs or like moments that I really loved. And so I'm, I'm making notes this time as I'm reading. So hopefully my book reviews are going to get better. And yeah, so those are on Fridays on this channel, by the way, just to like kind of keep them out of the vlogs in case book reviews are not your thing. That way you don't have to like mess with watching them. But that's that. And I need to desperately clean up the guest bedroom. I have stuff everywhere in there and I am starting to feel that cluttered feeling again. So gonna take care of it gonna see what needs to be donated like um once i actually started doing this in the last house it felt so good my mind felt so free so gotta keep up with that i don't want to feel like you know i'm holding on to things i'm just probably never gonna use so that's that goal today so reading cleaning the guest bedroom but I have to first get all my work done. So I'll probably see you guys after all this work. So cute.
waking up. It's time for him to go outside. Come on. Let's go. Come on. It's going to be a rainy day today. It feels very fallish, so I'm loving that. And as soon as Loki's done outside, I got some stuff to do. I got some orders to do this morning, and I gotta go drop them off at the post office. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Good boy. <laughs> breakfast time? Is it breakfast time? Mm -hmm. When he hops like that, I die. I don't know why, but it's the funniest thing I've ever seen. Unfortunately, I have some breakouts that are really bothering me. Um, but yeah, I don't know if you guys like watch, um, who's that doctor? Dr. Pimple Popper. But I've watched like where she talks about if you don't remove like the sack, it'll keep coming back. And I feel like I must have some like mini sack thing right here because this just constantly comes back. And I hate it because this one just takes forever to go away. But I am, I just brushed my hair and then I just, um, then I brushed with this because first I need to get my tangles out. And then I've been brushing with this so that I can stimulate my scalp because I'm trying to like, I'm trying to grow more hair or something, I don't know. So, I've been doing that. And I'm not gonna take a shower just yet, so I'm gonna get my hair serums. Rosemary. So this is before I shower. And I'm going to just kind of get it into my scalp. I got this from Amazon. By the way, you can actually just make your own rosemary oil and it would probably be cheaper. Not probably, I know it would be. Um, but, which I was actually planning on doing. And then 
I got lazy and did this. So I'm just gonna very slowly work that into my scalp. Just trying to get that all in there and trying to be consistent. I'm just trying to be consistent with anything and everything. Hair routine, skincare routine. Um, yeah, so. We're gonna let that sit for a couple of hours and I'm gonna throw my hair up. Oh, you know what? I should, do I do the oil on the ends? Is that what she did? Okay, well, I'm trying to think of this YouTube video that I watched, but I'm gonna use this one, which is also from Amazon. I will link the ones that I use specifically, but you can just, you know, just try whatever you feel will work for you. Sometimes you have to try different products. Like, I feel confident about the rosemary oil. I'm just, and I feel like I do like this, this oil. So, so far I'm sticking with these and there's so much product in here. Like I probably wouldn't have to buy that oil for a while. Okay, so now I'm gonna throw it up. Just gonna very loosely too. I'm trying not to do anything too tightly. I, also because I had a migraine and I feel like I'm still having the after effects of that. So, all right. Now I would absolutely love to take a shower, do my makeup, even though I've decided I don't think I'm gonna film for my main channel today, it's Saturday. And I just feel like I need the day off from just like too much work. I already have to do, I already have to film a book review. So, um, but who knows? But I do have to get some orders out and I have to go to the post office because they're due to ship today. And I wanna make sure I'm on time. So I'm gonna go package some orders and I'll take Loki with me to the post office and then I'll come back and shower, relax, makeup. I just feel like wearing makeup today. And um, oh, this, this thing bothers me. Ugh. And um, film a book review, get that put up. And then I'll probably honestly spend the rest of the day just tidying up, cleaning. I need to mop floors. I showered. I couldn't really wait that long, so the rosemary didn't really get to sit in my hair for very long. Um, but I am trying to very gently, it probably doesn't look like it, but very gently brush out my hair. I mean, obviously, you know, it's obvious that you don't want to be too rough, but it can really make all the difference in how healthy your hair looks. So I've been taking a little bit more time to be gentle. Now people with straight hair probably honestly don't need to brush their hair when it's wet because that's when you do the most damage is brushing your hair when it's wet. So if you have straight hair, you could probably get away with letting it air dry and then brushing it. But people with curly hair can't do that. So, and I have naturally curly hair. All right, I, I really liked this perfume, this fresh cream. I got it from Amazon. And I've already put on hyaluronic acid and I'm gonna put on niacinamide, if that's how you say it. 
And then after this step, I'm gonna put on moisturizer and that will be it for my morning skincare. I have some empties I need to throw away. So I'm gonna let that sit in my skin for about two minutes. I like to let um, whatever I put on my skin like sit. I don't, yeah, so. Gotta be a little bit more patient. I am trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with my hair today. I need to go to the post office, but now my hair's wet. But I guess we'll just have to wait. I finished the orders that I needed to do. So the plan now is for me to just decide what I want to do with my hair. Actually, let's put on some jewelry. I am going to put on... Um, I'm trying to look for my... Oh, here they are. And I decided to put on my Apple Watch. I hope that black thing, the black lines going through the screen aren't on your guys' side, but I guess I'm gonna find out through editing if it is. I'm sorry, I'll probably at some point stop using this camera if I see this through editing. Um, but got my Apple Watch on and I am going to I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do with my hair and I'll be back. I spent most of the day lounging in bed and reading a book, um, but I've gotten up since then and I've been just kind of cleaning the house, making some changes that I just wasn't sitting well with me. So I took down the pictures of Micah right here. I'm gonna do something else. I just, I wasn't vibing with it. So I'm gonna do something different there. So I took that down. Then I noticed this light is out. So I need to get a light bulb for that. So I made a mental note. Plus it's time to also like get this laundry room functional. So I've also made a mental note to get some baskets for up here. And then maybe like, a, I don't know. I need to do something about this cause I don't like this either. And I think I need a rug in here, so I'm gonna be thinking about that as well. Um, just kind of like going through the house, making certain decisions. So I'm gonna move this into the guest bedroom, I think. And then I also took down some extra pictures of Micah. Um, I had two there and then two there, and it was just too much. So we scaled back and I just did these. So that feels better. And then here's what the living room looks like without the, the wicker chest, which was right here. And I've also taken down some of the Halloween decor. So I've taken down some of the Halloween decor. I took away the crows. And then these had the pumpkins on the other side and they were in the middle, but it's been really difficult like getting the remote to work because I'm covering the sensor because this isn't on the wall, it's on sitting on this. So I just moved those pumpkins there. There's one right there. Have the window open because it's just breezy outside. I thought it'd be nice. And I need to fix the couch. I moved the orange pillows there because I took away the trick-or-treat ones and I decided to leave the black checkered for like the remainder of fall before I decorate for Christmas and then I took away the Halloween haunted houses from the top and just left that and I need to figure out I think I need to move the blankets into that chest and then I've been slowly gathering all of my Halloween stuff and I've been putting it here just because I need to take it upstairs I was just gonna like carry the bins down, but I'm like, no, I'm not gonna do that. It would just be easier in the end if I carried all this upstairs. So I'm gonna try to find an empty bin, put all these in it and then carry them upstairs and get them tucked away for the season. 
And then, yeah, I've just been desperately kind of like have been needing to see the house without all the holiday decor just because I'm still getting used to this house and trying to figure out how to decorate it from like an everyday perspective. So the holiday stuff has been kind of like throwing me off a lot. Um, oh, it just makes me like all the moving that I've done has just exhausted me. <laughs> I just feel like I never settle down. Um, so anyways, I need to work on this area too. And I really want to scale this area back for fall. So I think I'm going to basically, I'm going to take all of that off and I don't know what I'm going to do. I love the entryway. I'm not going to touch the entryway, except I am going to remove the crows. So those are going to come out. Um, I'm going to leave them a little bit longer because I love them so much, but I'm going to take the crows out. I'm going to leave this garland because it just kind of like matches the pillows there, but that's basically what I'm doing. I'm just kind of going around making decisions that are making me feel like I'm breathing easier because I'm getting that feeling again where I feel slightly claustrophobic with everything that I have going on and I want everything to just be nice and clean and have like a home and if it doesn't have a home it has to go so over in this corner the mirror kind of is like just sitting here floating but i'm gonna get a floor vase and then i'm gonna do a branch with a huge branch with like a bunch of green leaves you'll see it's gonna be a diy project so once i get that in we're gonna get greenery in this corner it's gonna make sense and then i think the christmas tree is gonna go here so I have no idea what the setup is going to be and where I'm going to move this massive chair and a half. Um, so that's going to be interesting for Christmas, but we're just going to have to make it work. And as you can see, I've also been vacuuming. I feel like also for whatever reason, I feel like what I'm trying to do in here is majorly clashing with the house. And it's... It, it makes me want to like laugh cry in a way because it's it's like I don't know it's just it feels like I'm forcing two different styles together and it's not making any sense like I feel like yes I'm trying to marry different styles together but it's not working in my head like over here it feels very Tuscan over here it feels very like white cottage farmhouse and there's just a huge disconnect so I've been struggling with that, but that's fine. Doesn't sound like a big deal, but like I spend my whole time here and I want the space to feel good and positive and that is actually very important. So I'm, I've got to figure out what it is that I need to do to fix this. I do know that the bar stools are now throwing me off. So I'm just kind of like laughing at myself because I'm like, Whoa. I, trust me, I am mad at myself. Only one person I'm mad at, and that's me. You live and you learn, I guess. You know, like, can't always nail everything every time. So, so there's that. I'm gonna go ahead and start plucking some of these off because it's just been bothering me. So. Already, that feels so much better for me right now. Um, as much as I would just like love to feel in the spirit this year, I just, I'm not. And only because, like I said, this is a new house. I haven't even like fully f finished it. So for me, the way my mind works, it just, if it's not a fully foundational finished product, I can't seem to add on top of that without it feeling overwhelming so it was fun had a good run it's been up for a while but it is time for it to come down i also think i'm going to eventually get rid of the pie safe um I've, i actually like it here but it still doesn't make sense anymore so the pie safe is gonna go it's gonna get donated 
I don't know when. So my idea was to do like a huge floor length mirror right here to open up the space and then to do a different table. I still want to do a table. I could do two chairs kind of thing. And maybe I'll do that. I have those two chairs that I just don't want to let go of. I could put those here and those would look pretty lovely. So I could end up doing that, but I definitely think like a floor length mirror right here and then remove that mirror and then maybe do like some type of like wall decor and then call it a day, you know, so we'll see.